Plan B. management um, 
here are the same units as we described before. The company, well, let's go a little bit back, is run by Martin Kotkin, one of the members of the family. Last year figures, uh, the company turnover is 240 million euro. It's the record turnover ever in the Swiss group. And uh, we have employees around 920. Wood procurement is 1.8 million cubic meters. It's a lot of wood. Of course, we are not using everything by ourselves. We are also trading it, selling to bulk and paper production and, and so on. Fifty-five percent of our goods are exported. It's actually quite low figure. You could even imagine that it's higher, but we have quite a lot of domestic business. If you think about houses, for example, they are sold locally. Chipboard is a material where there is a lot of production in Europe, so it is not something what you usually transport, can transport long distances. So that is mainly sold in Finland, a little bit in Sweden, Baltics, and Russia too. And of course, from Sondheimer also one third stays in Finland. So we are serving actually quite a lot of these so-called DIY shops in Finland called Korauta or Stark. Production figures, I'm not going to go through all of these. I can send you later this material to me or, or somebody if you want to have a closer look. Soft for salt timber last year. Record volume here in Yarmel, the production is 300,000 cubic meters. And out of that, we are playing a little bit over 80,000 cubic meters. The different kind of uh, plain products, uh, profiles, structural timber, outdoor claddings, floorings, quite wide variety of different kinds of plain tools. And if we take a little bit closer look on the sawn timber department, we have also here Painting facilities, so we are painting something like 15,000 cubic meters annually. Outdoor plantings, half to domestic market and half to export. On the salt timber side, we have also another smaller unit located in the same place where the perch factory is located, so one and a half hours north from here. So there we are cutting 30,000 cubic meters of smaller. So it's ten times smaller. <coughs> the scale, I don't know how much it tells you, 300,000 cubic meters production it means in Finland the total production is around 11 million. So we are something like, what would you say, two and a half percent of the biggest production. Plywood, 70,000, 70, around 70,000 cubic meters of birch plywood. The production here in Gerbela is only basically birch plywood. We use some aspen and we use some spruce, but also those um, plywood which include these other species, they are usually covered with the birch. Chipboard, like I said, the only factory in Finland left. Uh, Production a little bit varying on the year, but some somewhere around 90,000 to 100,000. Then we have all sorts of other smaller things. Uh, I will, you will see a little bit pictures later of these other other products. Uh, houses is of course interesting. Uh, still in 2007, we used to produce something like 450 houses per year. Now we have gone down to 160. Luckily, we have around 50% of the turnover in the house business is coming from other projects. For example, we are now building 
or from our elements is built next to the airport in Helsinki, the biggest uh, wooden apartment block in Europe, which contains around 180 apartments. So this kind of bigger projects, more and more in Finland are made today. Uh, one good example also, which is quite interesting in growing fast, is that we make extra floors for apartments or apartment blocks. So if you have an expensive location in Helsinki, for example, a house, they usually just sell the right for somebody to build an extra floor on top of the, on the roof of the house. And they can that way finance, for example, the renovation of pipes or electricity or whatever. Here is the development of the turnover. Like you see, there is quite good growth. 95, less than 100 million euros. Then go quite fast to 2007 to 230 million. Then last year, or last Recession 2008, 2009 going down to 150 million and now growing back, back to new, new levels again. Here is the breakdown of turnover in different units. Like I said, the plywood industry and sawn timber are the biggest units, around 30% of the turnover each. Chip or 10% for procurement, 15%. This doesn't mean the internal sales from our wood procurement, so that means external business with, like I said, with the pulp and paper companies or energy is also a big, big business for us these days. If you drive to Helsinki from here in Kerala, you can see next to the Highway to big power plants there, for example, our customers. So we are developing or delivering them all sorts of uh, wood based fuels. Uh, then the two smaller units, first special products and the house industry, 5% Geographically, Europe is important. This 15% outside Europe is actually mainly salt timber. So the salt timber sales are actually the most international in this company. We are selling, uh, last year we delivered to 44 different countries. And a lot of business of course to North Africa, Middle East, China, Japan, Australia. Then we come to the sales representatives. It's, uh, uh, we are using both own offices and agents. So all the offices are long time ago established part of them mainly to sell plywood, but we have started to use part of them also to sell something. And traditionally on some different side the business has been done with the agents. We are still using a lot of agents because it's quite in some countries it's not uh, possible for us to hire a person. We don't have such volume there. So most of these agents, what we have, they are they are selling also at the wood products. A little bit about the products. No good pictures here, unfortunately. Uh, Salt timber is quite a lot of volume business and uh, not so much, let's say, product development included in that. We deliver most of our goods either to building or packaging purposes. Those are the, by far the two biggest end uses. Building, of course, covering, what would I say, 80%. Our customers are somehow related to building. Plywood is today very special 
product business we deliver to lot to transport industry decorative plywood for different kind of uses for example if somebody builds a football stadium or ice hockey ball the seats can be made of plywood a lot of this kind of special tech uses very little these days anymore standard construction plywood for example being produced and sold from Finland in French that is coming today from China and Russia Basically, in plywood, only those things have survived who have become more, let's say, specialized. Chip board. Finland is a different animal in that sense that we use chip board in building quite a lot. Probably your country's OSB is more familiar chip material in building. But in Finland, the wall panels and floor panels quite often are the cheap board. Tradition. And there is no OSB factory in it. That's also I think that's all made I think it that's coming from the raw material. In Central Europe you don't have that much pulp and paper industry. In Finland pulp and paper industry is using most of the chips. But sawdust has been always a little bit, let's say, a problem, but it has been available. So it's better to make the chip material out of sawdust rather than using chips which can be used on paper. Of course, a lot of chip work is going also to different kind of furniture production, so kitchen, cabins, and so on. Housing industry, I already explained, two kind of, or two main businesses, private houses and uh, distributed property. Private houses in Finland, wood is by far the dominating uh, material. I think the share of wooden houses from single family houses is 70%, something like that. And most of those wood frame houses are covered with the wooden cladding. I think the cladding out of the wooden house, something like 80%. Some people use bricks or whatever, but most of the wood frame houses are then covered with also wooden outer cladding. Here you can see, not a typical but quite normal wall from a famous house. This is from a bigger project, I think from a school or something like that. Plywood industry, like explained, a lot of special products to mats, traps. Horse trailers. This die cutting is also the end use area. So, for example, if you want to make a carton of milk, you use carton which you kind of print the seams. And that is the process where plywood is used. Chipboard went through already building furniture industry. Basically only two two end uses. Then the birch products, the small units, the Russian unit is producing only birch sawn timber. But in Finland we use uh, or produce many different kind of things. There's a quite famous Finnish Furniture producer Artec, for example, using a lot of uh, birch, and we deliver the birch salt timber for them. Mm. Then all sorts of special things. You can 
see some sometimes somebody having a business card made of plywood. It's kind of very thin. I think the thinnest plywood would be a producing 0.4 millimeter. So plywood, not not a veneer. He made quite weird menus there is. House industry, this is actually the feature from the project that I mentioned at the, the airport. Single family house, these either one is very typical, maybe this is a little bit closer to the typical. No. These days you see so many different kinds, of, but anyway, it's possible to produce a lot of different style of wooden houses. The certificates are more and more important these days. We have basically everything what you can get in Finland. We were the first food products company to receive the ISO 14001 over the 7. And we have also 9001 quality system, and now we are introducing also 2600, which is kind of a sustainable sustainability system. We have a lot of CMRP and on the raw material side we have both FSC and AFC. Of course in Finland AFC is the dominating certificate in the forest so it's not very easy to get FSC or long in Finland. Then you will go to the Real tour, Mr. Cosmo, our production manager, and Arago Minkman, our project quality engineer, will take you take you on a tour. Mika will decide how much you have time and what, what you can see. We have some technical problems in the sawmill. There is some maintenance work done today, so it's not running. But anyway, we want you to go and have a look. But here in, on this side, you can see see most of the news, or hopefully all running. Be careful when you are there in the production. You should wear a vest and, of course, uh, here, hearing protection. Walk in the same group. Don't start running around. Don't stick your hand to a machine or whatever. You have been to a factory before, so you know how to behave. Mika already asked photographing, it's okay. Don't think. Yeah. 
wooden houses. Now I'm talking about single family houses. Mm -hmm. There, last few years there have been more projects in Finland to introduce also apartment, bigger, and also let's say office building and stuff like that, to introduce it to the bigger projects. And there is more and more schools being built, you know, nursery homes, kindergartens. So it's growing also fast in bigger projects, but the main so use of it, all the constructions will be even more than 70 percent. No, I think the percent. If you look, just think about, uh, let's say, units where people are living. If you think not thinking about single family houses, but uh, apartments, whether they are single family or or apartment, I think the percentage is then lower. But in, in single family houses, the percentage is higher.